few weeks before Hajj last year, I received a call from a Muslim American business owner. He was going to Hajj with his wife that year and wanted to make a Sharia compliant will. I explained to him, to prepare a Sharia compliant will, his wife would have to sign a waiver of her inheritance rights under state law. That is, waiving her right to up to 50% of the estate in exchange for her one eighth Sharia share because they had children. He asked me, is there a Sharia compliant way for my wife to share more? She contributed financially to the household and left her a career to raise our children. I told him, absolutely, there are options. First, you're free to gift her property and money during your lifetime. Second, you have two options to include in your will to provide her with financial security. They are, one, increase her mahr, or two, acknowledge a moral religious debt for the services she provided you throughout the marriage. For option one, you can increase the mahr to make up for the small mahr that was agreed upon at the time of the marriage when you were young and poor. You can increase it as long as you are increasing it voluntarily without coercion or undue influence. This is valid and sound under Islamic law. Because the mahr is a debt upon the husband, the mahr must be paid from the gross estate before the prescribed shares are distributed to the Islamic heirs. So a wife will receive her mahr from the estate plus her Quranic prescribed share. Option two is a moral debt based on the marriage contract. Strong Sharia authority finds a marriage contract does not require a wife to be responsible for the domestic chores for the family and her husband. Some scholars agree with this opinion, but only for a wife who was accustomed to such lifestyle prior to marriage. Based on this Islamic authority, a husband may be required to hire domestic help to provide for these domestic services. If your wife provided these domestic services, you may want to pay off the moral religious debt obligation you owe her for these services. This is done by acknowledging the moral debt in your will, which will be paid from the gross estate, plus she receives her Quranic prescribed share. Another theory for the moral debt you may owe your wife is based on the wife's financial and non-financial contributions to the acquisition of the marital estate. If your wife facilitated or contributed to the acquisition of the marital estate by working or sacrificing her career to stay home or managing the marital finances or raising the children, then she may have a sharia-based equitable interest in the property acquired during the marriage. You are free to acknowledge a moral debt with money or other property for her contributions. This amount is paid from the gross estate. Plus, she will receive her predetermined sharia share. As you can see, you have many sharia compliant options to protect the financial security of your devoted wife. My client decided to increase his mahr to include the family business. The Sharia works and is anchored in a moral equity. Visit shariawiz.com to prepare your state-specific, Sharia-compliant, legally valid estate plan and let everyone know your wishes.